Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back to join me for today's video. So I have a little beauty haul from three different stores, Amazon, Dollar Tree, and my Big Dell outlet. So if you'd like to see the three things that I got, um, all that kind of stuff, plus I have a bonus, some bonus stuff to show you that maybe isn't beauty related, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I do have like my big go outlet bag and Dollar Tree. So let's just start with Dollar Tree. I don't have as many things. So I picked up this eight piece gem collection. Uh, it's a little manicure collection. So you get like a orange stick, some little nail files, tweezers, and some nail clippers. I wanted some more nail clippers. So just went ahead and grabbed this Dollar Tree. You know, as long as the nail clippers are okay, I don't even really care about the tweezers. Oh, sorry, they're fixing our pool. Um, these were new, and I have never seen them there, and I think that these are the more expensive items from LA Colors. Um, I know that if you have like a Dollar General near you, I know that there is LA Colors there, but they have more expensive products than, let's say, Dollar Tree. I think the Dollar Tree LA Color stuff, a lot of it is really good, but I found these LA Color Dramatolash like, so they had these 3D lashes for $1.25, which I thought was really, really nice. So, oh, actually on the back it says US $1.25. That is awesome. I've tried a few different pairs of their cheap ones, like, well, obviously the same price, but they're like on a little circular plastic card. Those aren't bad, but these are definitely, like, just looking at them, just visually, they look like something you would buy at the drugstore, like a Wispy or something. So... But yeah, this is in Delectable, but yeah, it's the Wispy. Um, I also picked up in Daydreamer. This one's more of a cat eye. And then also this is in Dazzle. This one's very full. Almost looks like a cluster lash, but it's a lot fuller. But anyway, just so you know, LA Color stuff, um, they are cruelty free. So if you are looking for some new lashes, maybe you've tried the Ioni and you don't like them, these might be a good option. But I'm definitely excited to try these in my next look that I'm wearing lashes in. So very, very nice. Super, super excited. Um, let's see here. I'll just go and show you what I got on Amazon. Um, I went ahead and picked up the twin pack of the um, e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencils, the waterproof version. They were the same price as the regular, which I love the regular. I've never had an issue with like it stain, you know, like it doesn't fade or smudge or anything like that. But I've been curious about the waterproof version. So definitely excited to try these. Um, it is in the shade Auburn. That's the shade I do wear. So pick those up to give it a try. Okay. Uh, the biggest amount is from the Big Dell outlet. So first of all, I got these cute little scrunchy, uh, scrunchy clips. Anyway, they were 59 cents. Yeah, 59 cents. Um, I love, especially where my hair's short, I love these types of little barrettes. So I went ahead and grabbed these. Uh, yeah, excited to wear these during the holidays. Um, I went ahead, oh, forgot, I need to put this away. Sean found some uh, McCormick pumpkin pie spice. So that's not beauty related, it needs to be put away, but I accidentally left it in the back. Okay, so I did pick up two new foundations. One is the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. I picked it up in the shade 220 Creamy Natural. Never big, been a huge fan of Milani foundations. I've tried a few different kinds and they've just been okay. Um, the Milani, oh, it's like their old school, like a lot of people love it. Anyway, I tried that foundation and it looked horrible on me, too cakey, everything like that. So kind of hoping that this will be better. Um, but I'm super curious to see what something like this is going to end up looking like. So cream to powder. I haven't used something like that in forever. Looks like it's going to be a little bit of a lighter coverage, which I'm honestly fine with. Not a big deal. So anyway, there's that. Um, I also picked up the Hard Candy um, Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation. Um, anyway, I know that Emily Noel really likes this, so I went ahead and grabbed it. This is in the shade um, Buff. So, anyway, I made sure it was brand new. I'm trying to do better with that, but 
though it has like the big doe foot. Doesn't really have a scent. I used to wear the old school Glamouflage when it was kind of greasy. Um, I've heard it's better now, so I haven't worn this in probably close to 10 years. So I'm definitely excited to see how that goes. Um, I also picked up this. This looked really cute for fall. This is the Revlon Colorstay Day to Night. This is in the new shade and this is called Stylish. A eh, little sponge tip fell, but this kind of reminded me of like pumpkin spice vibes. Um, so definitely curious to see how this is going to work, but looked really pretty. It was $1.99, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, I went ahead and grabbed the LA Girl Soft Matte Cream Blush. This is in the shade Kiss Up, and it's blendable cheek and lip color, so long-lasting pigment. Thought I would give it a go. I'm usually not the biggest fan of actual cream, but I've been getting into, like, oh no, this is cream. I should be okay with cream. I'm talking about liquid. I'm usually not the biggest fan of liquid, but I think this will probably be fine. Anyway, this was 99 cents. So I'm excited to give this a go. Let's see how it's gonna turn out. I did pick up two lipsticks. Just dropping stuff, you know how it goes. So I did pick up another um, Essence lipstick. This is the, in the nude category. Anyway, this is in Crazy. Looked really, really pretty. I love Essence lipsticks. Uh, really, really good formula if you've never tried any of the Essence lipsticks, they are really, really nice and I would recommend trying them out. And then um, I also picked up, this is also from LA Girl and this is in the shade Obsessed. And it looked pretty. I think it would look nice with the um, eyeshadow palette. So definitely give it a go. But yeah, this was 99 cents as well. But that's my little beauty haul. Um, oh, this is magnetic. Well, it was magnetic. Oh, there we go. So nothing super, super expensive. I'm really excited about the lashes and I'm really excited for the new foundations as well. I do like foundations, so I don't know, something fun, uh, some new fun things to try. So anyway, but that is it for the beauty haul. Let me show you what I got last weekend um, at my local um, secondhand store. So you ready for it? So, once again, stuffed animals are a buck. So I got this really cute little Squishmallow for a dollar. I don't know if she's supposed to be a seal or an actual narwhal, but she's cute. So I do like her, but good large sized squishy. So grab that one. And then where did, oh, there he is. Okay. And then this little guy. So a uh, little cheeseburger, really, really cute. So anyway, I thought. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, little bit smaller, but I thought he was adorable. I couldn't pass him up. I gotta, you gotta love a little cheeseburger. So, but yeah, um, still try not to buy a ton of stuff just because I really don't need anything. But it is fun to get some things from time to time, especially when they're a good deal. So um, I'm not gonna like say I'm never gonna buy anything ever again. But I'm not gonna be buying stuff online. Well, you know what I mean. Like I bought the colored rain stuff and some other stuff and I'm not going to be doing that again but you know some small things here and there I'm totally fine with doing but anyway there we go that is today's video I hope you did find it enjoyable um I will definitely give updates when I use these things and let y'all know how I like them because that's pretty much what I do is I review review stuff now for the beauty side usually so but anyway if you did enjoy today's video, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried anything that I picked up today. What were your thoughts on them? Any tips and tricks on applying? I'd love to know down below and make sure that you do subscribe. I do upload seven days a week all about budget stuff. So I do budget beauty, I do vlogs, grocery hauls, recipes, I do all sorts of stuff. So make sure that you do subscribe, but I do appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start auto playing here in a moment. It might be one of mine, it might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see y'all here in just a second.